Hello and welcome to another video here at Hobbies and Happiness. My name is Dan. And I'm Jim. And today we're going to be answering the question, is DC Deck Builder worth it in 2022? All right. So today, like Jimbo said, we're uh, we're answering the question, is the DC Deck Builder game worth it in 2022? All right, so the DC deck building game, if you're not familiar, is a deck building game built around DC Comics and the DC Comics superheroes. So this game has been around for 10 years. It has been around yes, now for 10 yes years. Is. And if you did not know, they recently, well, yeah, relatively recently, they just completed their Kickstarter for essentially what's coming for the game in 2022. All right, so we'll talk about the Kickstarter a little bit later on in the video, yes. but what we kind of wanted to do is we wanted to go through kind of number one, our experiences with this game. I personally, I love this game. I really, <laughs> I'm a really a big fan of this game. And I think part of it probably has to do with the fact that it was my first deck building game. Mm -hmm. This is kind of one of the games that really kind of pushed me into uh, this hobby, this hobby space which was separate from the trading card games and CCGs yeah. Yeah. like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Yeah. I can't really say Yu-Gi-Oh! because I didn't play much <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day, but regardless, it's still a different type of game. For other random people out there, Yu-Gi-Oh! Right. could have been the first right. game they've played. Ab absolutely, absolutely. So, um, the uh, core set was launched about, t about 10 years ago, yeah. okay? And um, if you're not familiar, we have a lot of uh, content for this game on our channel. Um, we'll link some here. We've got uh, some gameplay videos. We have uh, some tier lists. We've got a lot of different types of content for this game. All right, so um, before we actually answer the question, let's, let's talk about what content is out there right now. Okay, so there's different types of products, okay? Now the first type of product is like the core set, right? It is those standalone big box products. Mm -hmm. Right now, I believe there are uh, six total products, okay? Those are the core set, you have the Teen Titans theme set, Heroes United, you have Forever Evil, you have Rebirth, which is a very different type of game mode. Uh, we have yet to play that here on the channel. We will uh, at some point. And then there is the newest set that is released. Yes. It's the Dark Knight's metal themed yes. set. Those are all the big box standalones. The next type of product we're gonna talk about are these crossover packs. Okay, I've actually got one of the most recent ones. This one's the Nan cool. The Ninja, <laughs> Batman Ninja, which is I know is hard to get, and it took me a while to, to find, uh, actually find this, but I, I was able to, to snag it. Um, so there are um, nine, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, there, no, there's eight. eight. Right yeah, now there's eight. eight crossover packs. You have JSA, the Arrow TV show, Legion of Superheroes, Watchmen, Rogues, Birds of Prey, New Gods, Batman Ninja, and then we'll talk about the next one that's coming a little bit later. All right, so those are the crossover packs. Now, those are, as you can, as you can see, very small packs, right? Yeah. They are meant to be very much a supplement to the standalone larger games where you mix it in with uh, some other set. Okay? Just adds a little something extra. Yeah, there's there are some which rely heavily on new mechanics like mm -hmm. the uh, Birds of Prey set relies on, there's a new mechanic called the rotating mechanic mm -hmm. where you have your ongoing cards that you just rotate huh. as they're when they're in play. So there's there's a lot of different mechanics. It's pretty interesting. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty mm -hmm. cool actually, all right. Um, so those are the crisis packs, okay? Batman Ninja is actually really, really cool because you're fighting like the robot Joker yeah. and they put all the pieces together. Yep. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, all right, and then we have the crisis packs. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the crisis packs introduce, <laughs> introduce a couple of new things. I enjoy the crisis packs because yeah. it's, Normally a longer game. That's what it introduced. Yeah, right. Well, it, but the biggest thing that it introduced yeah. was co-op play, yeah. right? Co it introduced co-op play. So um, at its core, DC deck building game is a competitive deck building game, mm -hmm. right? So the crisis packs introduced cards 
and m game modes, specifically the crisis game mode, yep. which allowed uh, players to work together to defeat the ongoing crisis events in the impossible super, uh, impossible mode super villains, which were another um, addition to those crisis packs. So mm -hmm. right now, um, and I don't know if they're gonna be doing more crisis packs, I'm not totally sure on that, but right now there's four crisis packs mm -hmm. that are out. Um, I, I'm pretty sure, I think Crisis 4 is one that's harder to get your hands on, mm -hmm. um, but um, but as of date, there are four total Crisis Packs that are out. Um, so, so again, introduced co-op play, and then on also, one of the things it also introduced was official rules, I believe, for solo play. So you could play through cr the Crisis Mode in solo play. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so Crisis Mode, Long, very long games. It Every, was a blast, though. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. It my really favorite changed up the game. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite moment. When, um, the only time we've played the yeah. well, when the first Crisis box that we played yeah. was, um, you had the exact same hand. <laughs> Like you played out all of your cards every single time. That was great. That was so great. I just kept it face up. I'm just like, yeah. I do this. <laughs> I do this, I do this again. It's, uh, again, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so if you haven't seen that, go check that video out. It is it is a lot of fun, okay? And then we've got a couple of different other uh, releases, okay? This is the Multiverse box, okay? Now the Multiverse box basically was meant to be a storage solution for your entire collection. No. Spoiler alert, this does not fit the entire collection that we are talking about right now. Sleeved, all my sleeved cards, I sleeved do not have. Sleeved adds a whole lot. It, it does, it <laughs> does, it, it does, it does. Um, so there's the Multiverse mm -hmm. box. The next type of product, there are the rival sets. Yes. At, to date, there's two rival sets. You have Batman and Joker rivals, and then you have Green Lantern and Yellow, uh, Yellow Lantern, I think. No, excuse me, Green, Green Lantern, Lantern and Sinestro. Yes. Syndrome! I was about to say, it's Syndrome, dude. No, it's Sinestro. <laughs> so, yeah, so Green Lantern and Sinestro. So the Rivals mm -hmm. packs uh, are meant to be 1v1 specifically, yeah. um, very different type of game mode. Actually, we are getting ready to play some of those <laughs> so we can show you the first rival set, Batman vs. Joker, super interesting. And now this next type, this next product, Confrontations, took that Rivals formula and yep. built upon it. So it took it from 1v1 to 1v1, but also 2v2. You could take it from 1v1 to yeah. 2v2. Yeah. So so as you see, in Rivals 1, you have Batman and Joker, right? The Rivals. Mm -hmm. Green Lantern, Sinestro. Then in the Confrontations box, you have a lot more of the heroes and their villains. Ooh. It's pretty cool. Like you have Aquaman and Ocean Master, yeah. um, Wonder Woman, and I wanna say it's Felix Faust. I can't remember, I'd have to double check, but there's, it's very interesting. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you've got Superman and Lex Luthor in there. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's a, it's a set that I'm excited, excited to dive into. So that's everything that has cool. been released to date. Now, I'm the type of person, I've said this before, Okay, that even the core the core set, I can play it 20 different times, and each of those games are going to go a different way. Yeah, I know there's been other videos out there who say, oh, you know, I play the I play the the same the box and it's the same thing every time. Show me, like, show <laughs> me how. Like, there's in, no way in a game where. Your, your deck, if you watch our videos, you can see the deck goes up to here, right? It goes up to there. Yeah. And then you only have, you're only able to see five cards at a time. Mm -hmm. And some of those cards are only one ofs. Yeah. Every game is gonna be so different. Yeah. My, my favorite thing about the DC deck building the game are the heroes, okay? Now, um, I'm actually, I've got all of, these are all of the superheroes that, and this isn't even all of them. But this is all, these are all superheroes and villains because you can play as villains, okay, in some of game modes and the boxes like Forever Evil, mm -hmm. but they all have a specific effect, yep. okay? Building decks around those, I love that. That's one of the reasons I love Commander, mm -hmm. okay? A Commander, the Commander format for Magic the Gathering, I am building a deck around a singular card, mm -hmm. right? So being able to use, abuse, and build around these mechanics is one of the great things. Mm -hmm. There was one thing that I saw, There, it was on a Facebook post, I believe, and somebody said, you know you're real a, a good player if you just don't play with any of the he superheroes. And I'm like, I mean, good? I, I, I don't know what you mean by good, but 
Yes, you are then giving yourself a restriction and yeah. you are only using the cards yeah. that at your disposal and then building your synergies uh, along those lines versus building your synergies with your superhero in mind. And at that point, sure, you're not having, if you don't have the leader, right? Mm -hmm. And say you're playing the Batman one. So you want equipments, right? Right. So I'm normally percent. if you would take an equipment, um, but just because it's an equipment, say there's a better card out on the field. Well, now you're just going for the best cards that are out in the lineup. Right. Or you're taking a kick, you right. know, whatever it is. Right. So now it's it's even more linear, even though it kind mm -hmm. of expands a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but then it also really slows down the game as yeah. well. Yeah. Because if you're playing Superman, you're getting more power as well. Same thing with the Batman. If you're playing Cyborg, you're drawing cards, mm -hmm. getting more power as well. So if you're not playing with a leader, the game speed drops. Yeah. A right. lot. Right. And my favorite thing, my the favorite way... The way I love playing this game is not having one superhero, playing with a team, yeah, yeah. playing with two, or even sometimes three. There's a, an actual game mode called Cube, okay, um, that's played competitively, mm -hmm. where they have, you build your, you have your team of three heroes. And that is just, that's so cool because now wow. you have, you have a lot of different options of oh, yeah. synergies to yeah. build around, and then you have trigger triggers. That is so much fun, like mm -hmm. as a card game player at heart, that is what I really enjoy yeah. and really, really love, yeah. okay? So that's what's out there. That That is everything that is currently on the market, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're forgetting the Kickstarter. Is the DC deck building game worth it in 2022? I say yes. I, 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 really, I really think it is. I think deck building games as a genre are very good, okay? And so the fact that you have 10 years of a game like this that's been out there, I mean, we've played the core set relatively recently, and I think yeah. the core set still holds up, yeah. okay? It, it holds up, it does hold its value. Yeah. Now, are there a lot of different and better products out there? For sure, for sure. But I still think this as a whole, this game is 100% worth in 2022. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So a few different things. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, absolute, I absolutely love the base set, okay? Mm -hmm. I've been playing it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, the all the other ways that they all the other boxes that they come out with mm -hmm. to change up the ways to play, whether you're playing rivals, confrontation, you're doing crisis as well. Mm -hmm. So now you have a lot of different ways to be played. The only real downside is like we were talking about earlier, it can be difficult to get your hands on some of these boxes. Oh yeah. Yep. So that's if you're if you want to have like every single thing in the game, it could be pricey or it could just be very difficult to find. Now, assuming now for a good example is Batman Ninja. OK, now I was able to find it mm -hmm. and it was not at a crazy markup. It yeah. was at MSRP. So okay. I was able to get it at MSRP. And speaking of, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I, I do believe that Cryptozoic is going to be re-releasing some of these products that Ooh, are harder to get. Okay. Perfect example, Crossover Collection 1, sitting right there. And they packaged up three of the crossover packs, Birds of Prey, New Gods, and Rogues. For the longest time, I could not get my hands on Rogues. Yeah. Could not find it. It was not in the Cryptozoic store. Mm -hmm. Then when they announced that product, I immediately pre-ordered it. There were some promos in there. Yeah. Even though I already had New Gods and Birds of Prey, mm -hmm. I was like, I, I understand what they're trying to do as a company, but yeah. they're trying to package more of these products than just yeah. re release one of them at a time. Yeah. Um, so I, I jumped on that. And they, I believe they're gonna be doing- it, it also makes it better for the new people coming into the yeah, game as well. Right, exactly. Rather than, it's like, say for us, cause we mm -hmm. had those other two, but mm -hmm. just didn't have the rogues. Right. Well now someone brand new is like, Oh, I just can get all three mm -hmm. right here. Right. I don't exactly. have to get the other exactly. one. Exactly, exactly, you know? yeah. So we're, what we're finding is as we're discovering these older games, <coughs> Netrunner, um, it is so hard. It is hard to find products that just they're, they're not around and they're yep. just hard to get. Yep. I mean, that is not a strictly inherently problem with the DC deck building yep. game, but a lot of great games, right? Yep. And so like as newcomers come into this hobby, 
and specific games trying to find old product mm -hmm. is is always going to be a problem. Yep. So a hundred percent, I'm right there with you. Yeah. So um, I, I I think I think we're both answering the, this the question as yes, wholeheartedly yes. I yeah. think so. If we're talking pure gameplay wise, I would absolutely say yeah. 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 And the other thing before we talk about the Kickstarter is the ways to play. You can play this game so many different ways and you can play it however you want, mm -hmm. right? I have our my, our solo gameplay that I did. Um, it was like a, a solo variant that was, it's an unofficial variant, yeah. right? Um, so the power of the internet, you can go to BGG or all these different websites and find the ways that all these other people are, are learning and playing this game that aren't even quote official from a Cryptozoic, for example. Um, so, and I want to be doing more solo gameplays as well for not only this game, but other games as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right, so let's talk about the Kickstarter, okay? Yes. Kickstarter, um, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. So um, the Kickstarter is the Injustice Kickstarter. I love Injustice. I love the Injustice storyline. The mm -hmm. game, the video game is a fighting game. A lot of fun. One of uh, one of my favorite fighting games. Um, I, I was a big fan of the Mortal Kombat developers. And so they're the ones who um, made the Injustice video oh, wow. game. A lot of fun. It was a, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so they have the Injustice set, okay, which it is. It's another big box set, right? And if you're familiar with the storyline and the video game, it plays very much like the video game, right? Okay. So um, it's it's obviously uh, competitive, right? Um, but what they have is so if you're familiar with the video game, instead of doing it in rounds, okay, like. Mortal Kombat has your mm -hmm. round, you win round, round one. one. Round one, right, Fight. right. You have two levels of health, yeah. okay? So um, if you if you deplete your opponent's first level, oh. okay, then they go into their, their second level, yeah. right? So the layered health bars are like just one example of how they brought the video game into the uh, deck building game. So okay. there's a few other examples. So if you're at all interested, I highly suggest go checking checking out that Kickstarter link. All right, so the other products that are involved in this Kickstarter are another rival set, Flash in Reverse Flash. Yes. So they're doing another rival set. Um, additionally, they are doing another crossover pack. So crossover pack nine is the DC Bombshells. So that's like the uh, 60s and 70s, the pinup girls. Uh, oh, it was it's that okay. kind of art style okay. with a lot of the female uh, characters um, in the game, um, or excuse me, in the DC universe, I should say. Um, so additionally, they have um, more storage box options. Okay, there's t there's bigger, larger boxes that, uh, according to Cryptozoic, can hold everything sleeved. According to according to Cryptozoic, we'll see. Okay, now there's two different versions. They've got a superhero artwork version and then a villain artwork yes. version. There's some play mats also involved in the Kickstarter as well. And you can actually also get the big box sets mm. included in the, in the Kickstarter as well. Now they okay. will not come with the box. Yeah. They just should be the cards. But it's a, it's a, it's a way it's 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 another way for yeah. newer players players to get into the game if Plus, they I don't mean, have. They're giving you the you're probably gonna get the big box. Yeah, correct. So. Correct. Yeah. So um, again, more products coming in 2022 mm -hmm. for the DC deck building game. So I mean, I just think that's another another um, reason um, why we think the DC deck building game is worth it in 2022. Yeah. Um, still making content. They're still making content, and the one th there's one downside is um, originally they were going to do a Suicide Squad expansion for Ooh. the game, but they canned that. They canned that about last year, I think. Yeah. So there's there's been calls from the community. People want that expansion. They're like, why are we not getting Suicide Squad? But I think there's talks we may we may see that in the future. So that is one that was a planned expansion. So we're, we'll see we'll see what happens uh, for the rest of the year for uh, DC deck building game. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as is it worth it in 2022, I think the answer to that question is a resounding, yeah, you betcha. No. Nope. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but with that, we're gonna kick it to you. What do you guys think? Do you think the DC deck building game is worth in 2022? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments what you think and what's your favorite expansion. Do you like the core set 
Um, do you like Teen Titans? Do you like Forever Evil? What is your favorite expansion? Or do you just like, are you a masochist and you like Crisis? The Crisis expansions. <laughs> no, you just want to have fun with your friends. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Crisis is a lot of fun for sure. Um, but let us know down below what you think and what, what, what you're looking forward to. So let us know what you're looking forward to for DC Deckwell in the game, because we're interested. We would love to know. And check out our channel if you want to see more content for DC Deckwell in the game, gameplay, tier list, strategy content. Go check it out. Thanks, everybody, for being here, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you, everybody. Take care.